All right. Hi. Hi, Erin. Hi, I'm Erin Mori, and I'm just here to say a few words about translation and translation as a practice. It's, um, I think that it's important, even if you know just a little bit of a language, to try translating from it. Uh, try translating poetry. You learn a lot, first of all, about how poetry works. You learn a lot about how language works, and uh, you're able gradually, as you learn, to bring most amazing things into our own English, into English in Canada. One of the things about tra reading translated works, which all of us have read those once in a while, is that um, it's very dangerous when works are ch only chosen, when we only read translated works that are chosen um, and translated abroad or not translated in Canada. Choosing what to translate is a political act, it's a community act, it's, um, it's an act that's culturally constructed. And when we choose what to translate here in Canada, we translate things that mean something to us. Otherwise, when we're reading work in translation, we're just reading things that are important, that other people have said are important, which is just doing that is a crazy thing to do. Thanks, Erin. Can, um, <laughs> can I ask one question? Yeah. Okay. Um, we spoke earlier about the, uh, the Canadian English advantage. Could you speak a bit more about that? Well, I guess just in my time translating in Europe, I found that um, people like Canadian English a lot. They find it to be a rich idiom and uh, with with a lot of music and, and variety to it. It's they, People abroad are exposed to American English, of course, on an everyday basis as we are on television. They recognize that Canadian English has a different kind of a flavor to it. And it's not as, um, in a sense, as codified as British English to people's, to a, a European ear. Uh, people like um, like work translated by a Canadian into into Canadian English, and uh, that's a really great pleasure for me. I also learn more about my own language and how it sounds from from translating into it. Very cool. Thank you. Any last words for beginning translators? Just do it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Erin. Okay. <laughs> Got it.